Hello everybody, welcome back! It's me, your old pal Orpheus, here with another great adventure on Orpheus Plays. We're playing Red Dead Online. Yeah, kind of a game that's it's fun. I like occasionally just kicking back, pretending I'm a cowboy, strapping a buffalo on my head, and coming out here to do a little bit, <laughs> a little bit of mayhem. Yeah, I've got a buffalo on my head. Hey, uh, incidentally, if you want to spend about three and a half hours of your life learning a little bit about uh, this sort of um, this sort of life, this sort of whole um, like lifestyle and the whole genre of it, go watch a movie called Dances with Wolves. Um, it's a Kevin Costner movie, and he plays a um, an army. I think lieutenant. Anyway, that's not the important part. He plays an army uh, person who gets injured and he gets his choice of what post he wants to do. And he says he wants to go out and experience the prairies and, and the open land before it's all gone. And he meets uh, a local tribe of uh, indigenous people and becomes, he gets accepted into it and he, <laughs> he, uh, He's trying the first couple of times that he's talking to them to explain buffalo, right? Because he knows that the buffalo are part of what's going on and that they're an important part of uh, the indigenous person culture. And so <laughs> the first time they're trying to communicate, he's trying to say, you know, buffalo. And he, he's like acting like a buffalo crawling around on the ground making noises. And uh, <laughs> they're like, Tatanka. Yes, uh, Tatanka. Yes, yes. Buffalo. And he's a like, buff. Buffalo. Well, this legendary pelt for an animal is called the Tatanka pelt. <laughs> and so it's um, it's uh, the buffalo that apparently looks like it's trying to eat me from behind. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's Lakota. Uh, Lakota Indian or Native American language that they were doing in that. Okay, so we're here in Armadillo and we're going to be doing a bounty. I'm going to be doing an easy bounty because I don't want to uh, have to get too deep in something. All right, so we're looking for Arthur Guthrie, not to be confused with Arlo Guthrie, uh, who was a uh, musician who did, uh, boy, the Thanksgiving song. There's a fun thing. Anyway, Guthrie has been known to steal various items from the saddlebags and storage of members of the public. He fled court after abusing the judge. What did he do to the judge? Okay, I mean, he called him bad names and, and, and bullied him here in the town. Anyway, so we're going to choose this one, and we'll get things started. Who is our horse today? Who is our lucky winner as the horse of the day? Go to the shack. Oh, thank God the GPS works for this. God, that would suck. Who's my horse today? Dirty Harriet. Yes, we've got Dirty Harriet, our horse. This is one of the faster horses that I own. Uh... I tricked it out, like this would be the equivalent of, of putting rims and an expensive stereo <laughs> onto your horse. All right, so we're going to the shack. I don't know if I'm, it's a dead or alive one, so <clears throat> I have no obligation to keep this person alive. <laughs> Dude, don't talk smack. I'm wearing a buffalo on my head and I'm, <laughs> I'm recording content for YouTube. Don't make me mad, you'll just be more humor. More humor for the pile, the greater good. But yeah. Let's go get this guy. Uh, but yeah, I might kill him. It depends upon what uh, what situation he's in. Eh, we'll see. But uh, yeah, anyway, I hope you're doing well where you, wherever you are right now. Whether it's day or night, or you're uh, riding your own horse out in, in the plains. And for some reason, it has a stick shift, and you've gotten it jammed in reverse. And so your horse is just backing up everywhere you go. Ah, you'll learn to live with it. <laughs> so yeah, another good day in the Old West. And uh, it took me a while actually to hunt up some of these legendary pelts because my wife and I have. So we'll go out. Uh, we'll go out playing together. And at one of these points, you guys might be really lucky and get to see uh, Mrs. Orpheus on the stream uh, with me, and we'll be you know just kind of messing around doing different challenges and stuff. We might make that either a Twitch stream or a longer one. Yes, I have a Twitch channel. Uh, if you're motivated, you can probably go find it, but <laughs> whatever. Anyway, um, I may do that as a Twitch stream or whatever, uh, but we like to go hunting and we like to find these legendary animals and stuff. We'll track them down and then we'll, we'll look through our inventories and go, which one of us doesn't have that one? Oh, do you want this one, honey? Oh yeah, I'll take this one. You get the next one kind of thing. And so, like, it takes a lot 
a lot of concentration, a lot of like effort to find all these legendary animals. You gotta track them down, and you gotta like, the oh my god, do they take a lot to to take down? Like, so if your normal animal <laughs> in this game takes, you know, maybe a good shot to the head, a couple of shots to the body, right? Legendary animals take like. 12 shots like you'll you'll reload your gun like four times just to take down whatever it is <laughs> take that mr pheasant <laughs> just rocked you <laughs> two of them wow well let's let's pluck these pluckers up and we'll get them into the bag yay uh but like it takes a lot of effort and concentration and everything to hunt them up and yeah they take so much ridiculous like it would take like 12 arrows to take one of these things down, right? But, like, so some animals are really a lot tougher to kill. And then there's animals in nature that seem to be... And I, I missed the other one. I left it, but whatever. Um, there are animals in nature that seem to be, like, disposable, you know? <laughs> like, so... Oh, God, no, no! Oh! Well, I'm sorry about that. Oh, boy. I hope Dirty Harriet's okay. Yeah. Is my horse good? Here, horse. <laughs> we'll just pretend that didn't happen. But like, okay, for a good example, um, an animal like a lemming, right? So the big joke that you hear about lemmings, what's going on here? Morning, Morning good to see you. How you doing? Good. Why don't you get on your way before I have to shoot you? Um, but like lemmings, the, the big joke about lemmings, and there's even a, a, a game, or a, an old school game, they probably still have versions of it now, where it's just lemmings they just go tossing themselves off a cliff and like you have to stop them from doing it so you know there's examples like that lemmings are these notorious disposable animals and then there's then there's this possum right either called wherever you are in the world it might be a possum or it might be an opossum not really sure i think that's a like a dialect thing like a locality anyway so a possum that seems to be one of the one of the more disposable animals. They're the ones that like, if you see them and they they start to cross the road, they do it like when cars are coming. <laughs> so instead of like other animals that like you know they wait for the cars to go by and then they're like, oh this is my turn, like a crosswalk, you know, like like sensible things do. <laughs> no no, the possum tends to like you know just kind of walk out <laughs> in the middle of the road. And if you've ever hit a possum, you know exactly what I'm about to talk about. Like, they look at you <laughs> when you're about to get them, and it's the deer in the headlights thing, but it's literally, like, the possum, like, will stare at you just before you smack it with your car. It's horrible. <laughs> but, like, they're, they're nature's disposable animals. Like a Bic lighter, you know? Like <laughs> so that reminds me, I was out hunting years ago. And I do another video where I talk about hunting. Uh, where I've hunted for 25 years, more than that, and I never, I never shot a deer, right? Because I just never, it just was never part of what I wanted to do. Oh, I gotta be quiet. Okay, so where is this guy? Is he in the camp? Can I smack him with a tracking arrow? Okay, so he's in the camp there. Let me see if I can, what, circle around from the side? Anyway, so I, I've never actually shot a deer, mostly because I... I don't want to, like, butcher the deer in the field, right? That's just nasty to me. And so, is that the guy right there? Is that him? I can't see him. Not close enough. No, he's inside. All right, so we'll very quietly take this guy out. Shh, 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 shh. Take him out. And then we'll very quietly take him out. And then we'll very quietly take him out. It's not so quiet anymore. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, shoot. Nope. I need, I need my moonshine. Ah, and then I need, oh God, he's gonna get away. Somebody help me. Let's eat some peaches. <laughs> <Little bit. laughs> but like, so I, I never, I never killed a deer, right? Never shot one. Oh God, he's getting away. He's getting away. He's getting away. He's going this way. Where'd he go? Oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose him. I'm gonna lose him. Where did he go? Come on. Where'd he go? Okay, there he is. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. But like, I just never felt like it. But you know, of course I would. I would go out with with a rifle in the field and all the the hunter stuff because you know that's what you got to do to not fake like you're you're hunting, right? But that you're you're trying to hunt, right? 
And so I'd have the rifle out there in the field. And what I would do is like if I see if I see a deer, I would scope it up, but just so I could get a better look at it, right? No, take this. You get nothing, sir. Oh, help me. He's got me. He's got me. There we go. Gonna turn you over, get a little kinky with you, tie you up. Here, okay, so let's... I'm gonna loot you first. So go through your pockets. There we go. Let's pick you up. And so what I would do is I just scope up the deer so I can get a better look at it, right? I'd never actually have, like, the the gun cocked, you know what I mean? Like, I I might have a, a round in the chamber, but most of the time I won't, right? I'll just have the, the, the bullets loaded, but that's it. And so this one time I... I'm sitting there, and I'm looking through the scope. This beautiful deer is this big, huge buck. And it had just antlers everywhere. Like, just antler points on top of antler points. It's like, bro, you want antlers? We got some antlers for your antlers. It was like 16, 20 points. Like, a ridiculous kind of deer that, like, if I had... <laughs> if I was a person that had shot deer, I would have like, hell yes, dude, this will make me a legend in the community. That kind of thing. <laughs> and so I see this thing. I scope up on it and I'm looking at it and it's it's just you know dusk is just starting to approach and it's beautiful out and it's real quiet and still and I'm, I scope up on this deer and I look at it and it's it's just kind of grazing there hold on let me do 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 let me get my my human meat off of here and put them into the human right meat wagon do do here you go there you go what do I do? There we go. Anyway, so I've got this thing scoped up and I'm looking at him. That's mildly Here. culturally insensitive. <laughs> here! And then he just rides off. Yep, we are here. Whoa, okay. So this thing is, is gorgeous. It's grazing lightly. Yeah, baby. It's, uh, it's grazing, you know, just some grass there and... It's looking around and it's just it's beautiful. Let me see if I can actually kind of get you what I what I got going on. Not really. Right, so um, I've got it scoped up. Thanks, thanks for playing along, a long game. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Ooh, I ranked up as a bounty hunter. So like I've I've got it scoped up, right? And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at it, and all of a sudden I hear a hiss and I hear a thump on top of my blind, and then this this gray f gray and white flash like just hits the tip of my barrel and like sends it like almost co like completely throws it out of my hands right <laughs> and like just because it happened in this total still quiet normally it's like you know the the shot of a rifle that would you know break that stillness well this time it was oh no you didn't see that this time it was like this horrible noise and this this hiss and thump and my gun getting almost torn out of my hands. <laughs> it scared the ever-loving hell out of me. It was like, what the hell is this? Right? Turns out it was a frigging possum that saw, I guess, saw my gun sticking out or something and, and maybe smelled the, the beef jerky or something I had with me and decided that was the time. That exact moment was when it was going to infiltrate me. <laughs> hey, lady. Hi, how are you? Hi, hey, let's let's go over here. You and me, you and me, you you and me. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take you down to the ground. You, I'm not gonna. I'm a gentleman. I don't do that. I just antagonize. Uh, but so is this damn possum. Just like ah, and I I just for a second I'm like ah, and I I grab the rifle back up real solid and I I look down. In front of my blind, and this possum just rears up at me and just goes, <sighs> like, just awful, awful noise, <laughs> like, just scared the hell out of me. And it started to, like, coil up, like, almost like a snake, but it started to rear back. And I could tell this thing was about to, like, it was, it was in fight or flight, right? And it had decided, <laughs> it had decided to fight, right? <laughs> and it, it was like, okay, so you and me, buddy. You scared me. I, I guess I, I scared it. Okay. And it was like, no, no, no. Time's up, buddy. And it started to coil up. And I I grabbed the rifle. And I had, I, had the, I had the bullet. Like, 
loaded into the gun, but not in the chamber. I don't think I've ever chambered around so fast in my life. <laughs> it was like, just chick, chick, and like, I aim at this thing and it just starts to come at me. <laughs> but unfortunately it like comes at me as I've got a gun pointed at it. <laughs> so <laughs> I had to pump a couple rounds into that thing because <laughs> it was, there was no way, dude. I, I didn't want to get rabies. I, I would not want to. Nope. No, thank you. That's not something that I'm going to do. So, yeah. Almost got attacked by a, uh, a possum. Although, I would say I full-on got attacked by it. I mean, yeah. It, it, and I was just defending myself. Uh, so, those of you animal rights activists, don't worry. It was uh, me saving my life. Uh, I actually did take that possum, what was left of it. <laughs> Because, I mean, you're, I shot it with a deer rifle, like a, a rifle intended to take down a large animal. <laughs> so I, I took what was left of that possum back to uh, the hunting ranch and we got it all butchered up. And I think we had it for dinner that night. Hey, folks, possum is actually pretty tasty. If you've never had it, <laughs> it's some good stuff. Anyway, that is my possum attack story. And uh, I've got a, a, so many stories about going out into the woods and the mishaps and mayhem that has happened. But uh, for today, we'll cut it off there as I ride off into the plains from this sleepy little western town. We'll leave you there. And uh, this has been another edition of Orpheus Plays playing Red Dead Online. I hope you're having an awesome day. And I hope you continue to have an awesome day. And we'll see you next time. Bye!